BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager with $9 trillion in assets under management, is filing for a Bitcoin ETF. And it's unlike anything we've seen before. BlackRock is silently taking over the Bitcoin space. Currently, we have Bitcoin futures ETFs, but there's no real Bitcoin being traded. These are just pieces of paper that track the future price of Bitcoin. But what BlackRock is doing here is a lot different. BlackRock is applying for a Bitcoin spot ETF where actual Bitcoin will be traded, although it will be held by a custodian. Watch what they do, not what they say. And you must be careful with these companies. In 2017, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink called Bitcoin an index of money laundering. And then in 2021, BlackRock was bullish on blockchain, but not Bitcoin. And then in 2022, BlackRock picked Coinbase to provide clients with direct Bitcoin exposure. And now in 2023, BlackRock is applying for a Bitcoin ETF. But something is very fishy here. It almost seems like an orchestrated game by BlackRock and Wall Street to take over crypto. Right now, the SEC is attacking crypto. Binance US is getting sued. Coinbase is getting sued. And the SEC believes that basically everything other than Bitcoin is a security. And here we are. BlackRock is filing for a Bitcoin spot ETF using Coinbase custody. So get this, the SEC sued Coinbase and now BlackRock is filing for an ETF using Coinbase custody on the back end. It makes no sense, or maybe it makes so much sense. It's as if the SEC is suppressing Bitcoin's price, giving BlackRock a generational entry into Bitcoin. Several companies have already applied for a Bitcoin spot ETF in the past, but they were rejected. The SEC cited manipulation, fraud, liquidity concerns, and the list goes on. But BlackRock is a bit different. BlackRock's pockets run very deep. But are they deep enough to buy off Gary Gensler? I would be surprised if this Bitcoin spot ETF is not accepted because this really is the way to protect investors. Isn't that what Gary Gensler and the SEC want? With a Bitcoin spot ETF, users can invest in an ETF that tracks the price of Bitcoin in a regulated way. There is no hassle, no technical difficulties. And the best part for the SEC is that the users don't actually hold their Bitcoin. This is the SEC's dream for people to invest in crypto, but those investments, in this case, Bitcoin, held by a third party because then the SEC basically has control. So if this is approved, will I be using this Bitcoin spot ETF? Absolutely not. I will continue to hold Bitcoin in self-custody. But for those that want to use this Bitcoin spot ETF, if it is approved, it's fine by me. And Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, is not new to crypto, not new to Bitcoin. He has been here all along. BlackRock already provides direct exposure to Bitcoin for their institutional clients. BlackRock has even invested in the Bitcoin mining company, Core Scientific. They have even added Bitcoin to their $15 billion global allocation fund. Watch what they do, not what they say. Right now, everyone is freaking out, but big money, smart money, they are comfortably building their positions. And if this ETF is approved, everyone wins. This will bring exposure to Bitcoin and altcoins, and there will be likely a domino effect with other asset managers and institutions creating their own Bitcoin ETFs and maybe other crypto products, who knows? Maybe in the future, we'll see something like an Ethereum ETF. The current Bitcoin futures ETF that we have right now, no big deal, but a Bitcoin spot ETF, a very big deal.